This is WPSR News Now. I'm J.D. Herring. And I'm Jake Preston. Joker Folie Adieu fell short of expectations at the box office. The sequel starring Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga brought in $40 million in its first weekend. That was against expectations of $50 to $65 million. The other new film that was released over the weekend was Lion Gate's White Bird, which made $1.5 million in its debut weekend. It's a great day for stamp collectors who are fans of The Who. Postal Service in the UK announced they're printing a collection of stamps to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the legendary band. Royal Mail says the stamps will include an album covers as well-known as well photos of The Who. Roger Daltrey expressed his appreciation for the collection, calling their album's artwork almost as important to the success of the record as the music. Prices range from $1 to as much as $152. Stamps go on sale October 17th, and pre-order is available now on the Royal Mail website. If you're looking for something spooky to do this Halloween, you might want to drive on the most haunted road in America. The car rental company Six says it's a winding 10-mile stretch in West Milford, New Jersey. There are lots of tales of paranormal activity on Clinton Road, including phantom headlights and a ghost boy who throws coins at drivers from Dead Man's Curb. Interstate 4 in Florida is ranked second in the Honda, in the Honda Road Report, with Bray Road in Wisconsin placing third. Keanu Reeves is making his professional racing debut. The Matrix actor raced in an event Saturday at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, finishing 25th out of 35 cars. At one point, Reeves, sp Reeves spun out into the grass just halfway through the 45-minute race. Reeves avoided a collision and was uninjured. He re-entered the race after. There are quite a few notable birthdays from the entertainment industry today, particularly music. Starting with John Cougar Mellencamp, he is a folk rock singer and songwriter known for his biggest hit, Jack and Diane. He turned 73. It's also the birthday of Radiohead frontman Tom York. Known for such hits as Karma Police and High and Dry, he's 56 today. Lastly, there's Louis Capaldi, singer, guitarist, and pianist best known for Someone You Loved and Bruises. He is turning 28 today. For WPSR News, I'm JD. And I'm Jake. Thanks for listening.